Hi, I would like to welcome you all to the first uh, Firebase View combined tutorial for e-commerce um, solutions in, in English. So first of all, uh, I would like to explain how we install uh, different components and elements necessary to complete and um, to at least start working in this in this technology we will have to use node.js uh, so we can have the framework the basic framework or server side to test and develop our app we will also install uh, the view cli yes uh, framework we will also use uh, the visual code uh, app for uh, for for as an ide for for development you can use any other uh, editor if you want and um, I will also use in the future not in this tutorial but in the in a future tutorial we will also use I will explain how to install the Firebase uh, tools okay because eventually it's Firebase as uh, it's a very interesting app that uh, I mean framework that allow us to uh, store or have a host inside um, in our in a free, in a free, free in a, in a, a freeware, let's say like this, with a certain amount of liberty to develop without having to invest until we know that the system works and it has uh, potential. Okay, so first of all, let's go and work on our uh, no install Node GS uh, system. What I will do is install the Node GS completely as a completely independent uh, portable uh, solution so I don't need to uh, install it uh, in different uh, folders in the computer and I personally recommend everyone to try and uh, do these uh, steps because eventually it's much safer to have it installed as a portable version rather than um, installed as an app inside the uh, computer. Now, if you want to, if you choose to, to install it as an app inside your computer, um, you have to be ready to assume the risk. So first of all, I will go to Node.js. Uh, uh, sorry, okay, here. And we will see that we have different solutions, in my case for Mac OS, um, to download. I will go to other downloads. We also we always have to choose the recommended LTS because it's the most stable version of uh, Node.js. Node okay, we'll go to other options. We'll go to Mac OS installer. If I download the Mac OS installer, it will download the installing the, uh, the, the let's say, the executor, the executable file to, exec to install it automatically. But I'm not interested in that. I want to download the binary representation okay I will download the binary representation I will uh, double click and it will uh, expand it as you can see here up here as a, um, a, a folder okay we will use that folder we will move it toward the place we want it to be uh, uh, positions okay um, what I will do, I, I created my own developer uh, dev uh, folder. So I will move this folder here. You can put it wherever you want, wherever you want. And I will write, name it Node.js. Okay? It's very important because in the future, if for some reason your Node.js is get corrupted, the only thing you have to do is extract this again, overwrite this folder, and it works perfectly fine. Okay, you don't have to do anything else. If you install the Node.js in your computer and you want to change it, then you have to make all kinds of uninstalling process, and it sometimes leaves some some trash around your computer, and you that you don't know where it's it's it is. So it's always preferable to use, from my perspective. A portable version of of these apps okay so now we have it here now one of the problems that doing this has is that if i write npm right now which is the one of the commands of node.js or node 
it won't work because it can't find it. How do we fix that? So the idea is to create, uh, it's, to, it's, it's to set the, the, the folder to the path, the, the ver, uh, the, uh, to the global path of the, of the computer. So the computer, the terminal everywhere knows how to find that, 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 that operators. Okay. So that's what we are going to do right now. Yes. We will make the computer to point to that folder. So what we will do is edit the file responsible. Yes. For, for defining the environmental variables of our computer. Again, if you don't want to do all this, you can always execute the installer. You can try it in theory. It shouldn't make any serious problems, but uh, it's preferable not to do, uh, to, to choose this way because it's much safer. Okay. So how we will define the environmental, uh, the, the environmental variable. So the, the to ensure that the Node.js uh, operators and commands are accessed from every single place of the computer. As I mentioned before, we are going to install it in a portable mode. So we have to do this small uh, the, uh, editing of a file so we can ensure that uh, it works well. First of all, you can see there is a, a, a small tutorial in the internet, which is very good, that explains us, us how to do it in macOS and different operating system using in different ways. We will do it in Mac OS. And uh, our first po uh, command that we have to execute is to find the file bash profile. Bash profile is the file that contains uh, the properties for uh, finding the roots inside the paths inside our system of different commands. Okay, so first we have to find where it is. When we do this, it tells us where it is. It, it, we can find it in under the folder users Yoni in this case is Yoni, in your case, it should be the name of your user, which is eventually, I think, right here, where I'm right here, okay? Um, if you wanna go there, you can put CD and put this first part like this, and it will take you to that place. Well, it's not really in that way, it's in, generally it's here. Okay, great. So we go first, we do CD and we go to this position, and then we do this, nano point in the name of the file, so we can edit it, okay? As you can see, I already have it uh, set. I, we have to put this, to this phrase here that it also show us here, export path, uh, export path equals to the path that you want to add. And we shouldn't forget ever this part here, because if we forget this, uh, this section here, it will deconfigure all the computer and you will mess it up. So it's important that you don't forget this position here. Okay. Once we have this uh, set, we we tap tap Control O to to save the changes. We tap Control X to exit. And from now on, npm should work. It should show us something like this. And with this, we already finally finished installing the Node.js, and we're ready to install the Viewly option.